what we call a 10-year plan to end chronic homeless in San Francisco. How are you going to solve homelessness? What are you going to do as a new mayor? And I say, well, what are you going to do? Focus on a housing first model, direct access to housing. Shelter solves sleep. Housing with wraparound and support services uh, solve homelessness. Homelessness absolutely can be solved. We laid out a detailed homeless strategy. There's been no intentionality on homelessness in the state for decades. It's not been a focus. I don't think we can solve homelessness. I know we can solve homelessness. We will reduce street homelessness quickly and humanely through emergency action. The highest investment the state's ever made is $1 billion on homelessness. We are poised to pass a budget in the next few hours that will provide $12 billion dollars of investments. I can literally quantify 58,000 people that we got off the streets last year and none of you would believe it. The state has not made progress in the last two decades as it relates to homelessness. Why? I'm not interested in funding failure. We're not interested in failing more efficiently when it comes to the issue of homelessness and the crisis on the street. <laughs> well, there you go. Governor Newsom Gruesome. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, you ought to know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Por favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Ken, folks, what are we talking about today? Well, as you've seen in the opening clip, Governor Newsom Gruesome has been in office, has been making his campaign promise since 2008. He's going to fix the homeless problem in California. He's been saying this over and over. He has a plan, right? It's 2024. He's still talking the same shit. The state is not good at tracking the outcomes of the money it spends on homelessness. That was the big takeaway from a new audit that we just told you about last week. It found California spent about $24 billion on homelessness and housing over the past five years with a growing homeless population to show for it. Now today, the governor announced the state is giving almost $200 million more million to homelessness programs. Why and what is the state doing better to keep track of all these dollars? Now, after all these years, Mr. Newsom Gruesome has finally unveiled his plan. He has built 120 units in Santa Monica, and each unit is worth about a million dollars. What? Yes. He's going to give homeless people a million dollar apartment complex. Unbelievable. Now, this has been going on for since 2008. He's been saying that he has a plan. And the taxpayers of California have been paid billions of dollars. And he finally comes out and he's going to give homeless people apartment complexes that's worth a million dollars each unit. <laughs> Unbelievable. The question always becomes, is it enough? No mattress move. Never easy. Governor Gavin Newsom with volunteers helping set up a new Project Home Key apartment. The space will become a home for someone living on the streets. The governor joined L.A. Mayor Eric Garcetti and candidate for L.A. Mayor Congresswoman Karen Bass to showcase the space. We were actually able to use $846 million of federal money, not a, a dollar of state money, drew down $846 million, and in six months we were able to procure bring into a portfolio over 6,000 housing units. Unprecedented. Why can't Now you've been paying your taxes. You got your property taxes. You got your registration for your car, all this. And people that are homeless, that have put nothing in the pot, are going to get their own unit that's worth more than a million dollars. People are dying on our watch. People are dying on the streets. And we all have a responsibility to do better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When I was younger, I was about uh, 24, 25. It was the year 2000, then 2002. So I did two years in California. I used to live in Orange County. 
Orange County is probably the most conservative part of the state. All right. I was the only one there for miles, if you know what I mean. Okay. I was younger. I saved all my money and I was trying to do a new business venture. So I went to California to learn the business, went out there and man, I went out there with 50,000, more than a little more than 50,000. And within six months, I'm running in the red. Man, I'm talking about it was hard, dude. I had a, an apartment. It was um, a one bedroom studio. It was in the bedroom. It was a studio apartment. And I had a Murphy bed. If you don't know what a Murphy bed is, it's a bed that comes out from the wall. All right. A little small ass kitchenette. And, you know, I didn't care. I was in my 20s. I didn't have no kids. I was just there to work and build my brand. All right. And I say within six, seven months, I'm in the red. I'm running hot, you know, so I'm working. I'm waiting tables. I'm doing valet, trying to get my money back up. And it was hard, you know. After two years, I had enough. Got my first plane ticket and left everything that I couldn't have in my own bags. Just left it and came right back to the East Coast. But when I was over there, you know, I did a little touristy thing. I wanted to see the city. I wanted to see Hollywood and guys, I was not impressed with Hollywood. There were homeless people all over the place. It was dirty. And I'm thinking Hollywood was something else. When you go over there, you see a lot of struggling actors, you know, druggies, pop tents. And this is over 25 years ago when I saw this. I went to Venice Beach. Same thing. It was just not impressive to me. You know, I thought California was different. Fast forward 25 years. Look at this. And it's getting worse and worse. And we have politicians like Gavin Newsom who keep promising that he's going to fix the problem. But all he's doing is using them. He's using them for campaign points. And he gets the money. People pouring the money. Taxpayer. Hey, fix the problem, fix the problem. It doesn't get fixed. The first thing they do is give you a tent. And make you stay out in a, in a, in a park. You can't come out from these parks. The city's getting run down. San Francisco is run down. Oakland is run down. LA. Speaking of LA, the mayor over there, this knucklehead here, she loves to talk about lowering the bail. She don't want bail for the criminals, right? She loves talking about reforming the bail. She loves talking about uh, defund the police. Okay, fine. Defund the police. Just the other day, a knucklehead went to her house and broke into her house and tried to rob the place. Some disturbing breaking news to tell you about. It tops the Fox 11 weekend news. This Sunday, an intruder broke into the official residence of L.A. Mayor Karen Bass today. That suspect is now in custody. Now, lucky for her, she called the police. And they showed up. Oh, gee, I wonder why. But if you're a regular person in L.A., somebody breaking your house, it might take you hours before you see the police. You know? So the chickens had come home to roost. The mayor, who always talk about defund the police, now the criminals come knocking at your door. The barbarian knocked on your door. Almost robbed you. And luckily for you, you had the police detail right around the corner. They came in minutes. But you other taxpayers out there, it's going to be hard. It's going to be very hard to do that. We have a problem with the homelessness. And instead of fixing the problem, you're throwing money at the problem. These people are not responsible. That's why they're homeless. And then you're going to give them a million dollar unit. What do you think is going to happen within two years of that apartment complex? There's going to be graffiti everywhere. There's going to be pee stains over there because it's not their property. They don't care. A lot of them have mental issues. A lot of them need to be on their medication. But you're throwing good money behind bad. And now we'll see what's going to happen. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, well, that's your state. <laughs> You can have California. I personally wish that California will succeed and sell it back to Mexico or whatever. Get it out of here. But shit, the hell do I know?
I'm just a driver. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. Tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you knuckleheads, get off my lawn.